So, the day of truth has arrived. We're gonna go back onto the Florida Trail. I'm not real equipped for it today. I'm hoping that this is gonna be uh, a cut-in hike. If it's not, then I'm gonna have to come back with my tools and continue to work on the Florida Trail. But I did wanna kinda of show you this. It's always scary, you know. Here I am, abandoned in the car, <laughs> just leaving it sitting here. Now, if you, if you were hiking the Florida Trail, we're on 314, you would be coming down this road, okay? And, uh, and I just parked back here, and you're gonna continue on up this way. And this is what we see here quite often in Florida. Look at that truck, isn't that crazy? I, I, I love these people here, They're so free. And I, I, I've never seen a lift kit like that. But uh, so we're gonna we're gonna work our way on up this way, and uh, we'll get back onto the Florida Trail, and we'll see how far we get today. So a while back, <laughs> I thought this was the Florida Trail, this dirt road. I went down there a ways, and of course that's definitely not. And uh, there's Highway 314. We're at Northeast 14th Street, so just to show you the location. And there's the car back there, and uh, I, that always cracks me up. Here in Florida, there's, <laughs> there's the mailboxes. Now we're going to continue on down this way, and uh, we'll get on the trail, and that'll be my next video. So if you're coming down 314, this is what you're going to look for on the on the power pole here. You, you got the, the markers going to the right, and there's the Florida Trail there. And uh, we came down here. Now I could have parked the car right here, but I kind of wanted to kite down 314 a little bit and kind of show you what you're gonna do um let's uh let's get on across here i'll try to hurry it up <clears throat> i don't want to waste time on the video so here's here's where we're diving back into the woods and i uh, i believe me i got the bear spray by the way I, i'm going to do a demonstration uh today of using the bear spray but here we go i mean we're getting serious now we're heading up into the ocala national forest and uh you know who knows what you're gonna see now if you saw from previous videos we did a little bit of this before uh, I just came up in here maybe you know 100 yards so today we're going a good hour hour and a half up in here and we'll see where it goes all right what a hidden treasure now I'm, I'm gonna show you how we're we're equipped today I'm, I'm actually carrying the bear spray in my hand because we're, we're hiking up in here and uh, who knows what critters are going to be lurking about. And uh, if, you, if you see, i got an orange shirt on. Because there could be actually some hunters back in here. And uh, the trail, I mean, once again, well, well maintained. I don't understand why, you know, going... And in fact, I may do some maintenance on that Silver Springs Trail again on my way out. But uh, today I just kind of wanted to hike. You know, sometimes you... You work, sometimes you hike, you know, and and getting to resilience, I'm still taking that rock out of my backyard and going to try to plant a garden. I'm watching videos on what vegetables will grow in Florida. Seems like, you know, Florida, I swear, I, there are some things that are native plants and that should grow even in the sandy soil that I don't think is all that great. Uh, and uh, we're going to plant that. But you can see, once again, <laughs> I'm all by myself. Ain't nobody back here. Ain't, you're not going to see nobody. And uh, we'll just go go a couple hours up in here. And uh, yeah, once again, just hit a cobweb. Uh-oh. This, this may, be, uh, may be the end of the hike. Things are getting kind of kind of crazy here. All right. What? Oh, okay. No, it's going this way. All right. So thank God. All right, and uh, just follow the orange markers. See, it's even wet still today. and it's, it's been dry here in Florida for a good week now. And uh, boy, I should have brought the hikers. I, I just didn't, I was hoping this would be, looking at the initial portion of the trail, that this wouldn't be too bad. But uh, boy, look at this. This is what the trail's looking like. Well, we're gonna keep going. I gotta get across here, and we'll take some more video later on. So I'm getting way back in here now, but this is kind of what you see in Florida. It looks very similar to northern Michigan. I mean, I can't imagine a vehicle that can come down this road. <laughs> but, but I guess they could, you know. Who knows? But uh, we're, we're continuing on along. 
Uh, hats off to the trail crew. They've done a, a good job. I should have brought my walking stick. I was more worried about the bear spray. Don't know how far we'll get today. I'm running into a lot of spider webs, and you know my I'm arachnophobic, that's for sure. And uh, but we'll continue on. You kind of let's just get a view of what I'm seeing. Really is beautiful. You know, I love being back in here by myself. I find it amazing nobody hikes these trails. It's not that far from from Santos. I mean, uh, but uh, nobody really knows about this. So we'll keep on going. All right, I've made the determination. I'm turning back. I, I'm not equipped for this. I should have been if I'd had any common sense. I just, uh, I mean, it looks so well maintained up at the initial part that we started in on. But uh, to hike through here, you know, could be a snake. I probably should be wearing my snake leggings through here. Let's, uh, there's a left turn up here. Maybe, maybe it'll break out. Let's just take a look. It's, uh, you see the, the orange markers, it's making a left-hand turn. And, uh, man, I tell you, I, I don't know. There's, they've got all these volunteer organizations that are supposed to work on the Florida Trail. I, I don't know what they work on, but it's not this. Well, we can go a while he's further. Look at that. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm really bummed, man. It's... Uh, you can tell the trail crews haven't been back in here and I'm not equipped. I don't have my hikers on. I don't have my long pants on. Um, I'm going to go a ways further, but I think I'm going to have to turn around. And, and what I'm going to do is go back and do some maintenance on the uh, that Silver Springs trail. And I'm still trying to get through there. You know, like I said, the goal is to hike all 1,500 miles of the Florida Trail. But man, if I have to cut my way through every every single uh, facet of it, that's just that's just going to be insane. I mean, it's it's slow going here. Uh, anyway, let's. Well, we got something over here. Look at this. What the heck? Maybe this is that road that we came across. If you can call that a road, kind of interesting. Well, I hadn't been traveled in a while. But we're way, way back in here. Uh, I'm going to keep going a while longer. But if it continues like that, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's on them plants. Without my hiking pants and my, my hiker's shoes. Uh, anyway, it was, it was a dream. I was hoping this trail would be well maintained. Um, it's okay, you know, up until this point. But you can see what I'm seeing, and that is, uh, it. Uh, it could use some some work and basically what I'll have to do is just next time I'll bring my uh, all my gear my hiking pants my uh, hikers and uh, and some clippers and uh, we'll continue cutting our way through I'll tell you I, it's going to be years before I can hike the whole Florida Trail because I have to keep cutting my way through look at that oh my goodness all right let's go away starting well, sometimes you just have to admit defeat. I'm not equipped for this. But, guess what? Another military story. <laughs> I love torturing you people. Oh, it's so much fun. All right, so we, uh, we're we going to continue on back. Uh, my military career, I mean, it kind of bounced around. So next thing I knew, I'm, I'm in the, um, I'm going to be an MP. Now, the reason why I went in, let's just get a view of the trail as I talk. Here we go. So, <clears throat> I got out of the uh, light infantry and basically I became a civilian for a while. And uh, I just, you know, I was pretty content, but I was working in Washington, D.C. And, you know, that is such a cesspool of corruption and uh, graft grifting, you know, that uh, you just get sick of it. And uh, I was trying to work on a new career and I thought you know what I, I'd like to see the other side of the military which is being an officer so I I rejoined I think it was uh well I want to say 98 I believe maybe maybe earlier than that and yeah, slow going here I gotta take it slow luckily all the cobwebs are down because I busted through them all and uh so I went back in the army <laughs> of all places, but you know, the, the recruiter told me, he says, yeah, I'll send you to um, officer's candidate school. 
I said, okay, well, that's, that's big cool. I, I'd, I'd appreciate that. I'd, I'd like to be an officer. And uh, so I got in there and, uh, you know, it, it, uh, we put in my application for Officer Candidate School. And, you know, in the meantime, there was, there was a lot of stuff I did with the MPs. Uh, you know, thank God I got out before the war. The MPs were just abused in the uh, Iraq War. You know, with uh, extended enlistments, you know, a lot of time you've, if you ever get a chance, watch that movie Stop Loss. And that'll kind of uh, illustrate what uh, what the MPs went through after uh, Bush invaded Iraq, uh, which was a, it was a good move to invade. It was a bad move to try to occupy the country. So that's just uh, my opinion. Um, but anyway, uh, so for, for whatever reason, they <laughs> I was the... Uh, company commander's driver and uh, we would do these uh, crazy military exercises up at Grayling. Grayling is a huge area in Michigan that's uh, dedicated to the army. Uh, got a base up there and uh, we when we did our two weeks of training we would go up there and uh, and so you know we do these live uh, exercises and at that time you know it was more about uh, avoiding terrorists you know it was no longer you know my, my early career was all about the Soviet Union and how we were going to do these massive uh, attacks with tanks and and napalm and planes and everything. So now you know it's more of a, a, a you know a, basically if you're out driving the company commander, how are you going to get out of the situation? Now back then we had the uh, the Humvees and you've heard me talk about those in the past. That's the worst damn vehicle that could ever exist. Uh, who in the hell bought those? It was a complete idiot. So I, I always chose the Bronco uh, to drive Captain Kessler. I mean, let's see. No, it wouldn't. I can't remember the captain's name. Gosh dang it. When you get old, that's what happens. But anyway, I had to drive him around, and he, he asked me the question. He said, Kirk, you know, or Ellis, you know, why the hell do you always choose the Bronco? Everybody else is driving the Humvees. I said, because I can take this Bronco places that them Humvees can't get to. And uh, this particular day, <laughs> we're out, and, uh, and and what you have is you have uh, military personnel, and and they're, uh, you know, they're they're the enemy. You know, they're 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 posing as the enemy, and their goal is to capture the company commander. And uh, I took it I took it all very seriously. I took it very real. And uh, so you know, I never ever, uh, you know, didn't. I wanted to make sure the company commander wasn't captured under my watch. And uh, so, you know, I, I, so I've always had an eye out for ambushes or, or situations. And, you know, you're driving all these sand, dirt roads, kind of like what I'm going through right now, actually. And uh, so this particular day, we drove right up in and I saw it. I knew it was an ambush and I stopped the vehicle and he's like, what are you doing? I said, well, I think this is an ambush. And uh, he said, are you sure? And lo and behold, two Humvees appeared right in front of us. Uh, and they, they came out of the woods. And, uh, and of course, you know, be, I'm crazy. You know, you know I'm crazy. Because <laughs> if you watched any of my videos, you know I got a brain cell that just doesn't uh, fire on all cylinders. So I, I took that Humvee, I mean that Bronco, I threw it in reverse and I just slammed on it. And uh, we were flying backwards. I bet we were doing 30, 40 miles an hour on a, on a road that looks just like this. And uh, and the company commander, he's he, he's terrified. He's like, Ellis, what are you doing, man? Slow down. I said, they're not getting this Bronco. No way, no how. And uh, so I flew out. And, of course, there was an the intersection. And I just I, I slammed that Bronco and slid it around. And then, you know, slammed it back into drive and just took off. And, uh, it, it, you know, it was funny because the, those Humvees, they were having a hard time catching up because they're wider. And so what I was doing is I was just making every turn that I possibly could. Every time I saw a road or, or sand trail or something, I'd just make a turn, you know, to get away from them. And eventually I completely lost them. And, uh, of course, I was, uh, <laughs> he gave, they, they gave me a medal for that, uh, which is kind of kind of silly, but... I forget what's got Army Achievement Medal is what I got uh, after the whole uh, exercise, you know. So, but uh, just just another story. And uh, boy, I tell you, I loved driving the Ford Bronco. I'm sorry that uh, the Ford went downhill because those vehicles were awesome. And uh, the Humvee was such a piece of crap, you know. That, I guess that's GM. 
Now, I don't, I don't know what Ford's manufacturing these days. I, I guess it's not going to matter because they're in the gasoline industry. And with Biden as president, those uh, gasoline guzzling vehicles are just going to be, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're going to the, the, what do you call it, the boneyard. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's, uh, that's my, my next story. As you can see, it's just ridiculous trying to hike through here unless you're equipped for it. Next time I come back, you know, the thing is, I can't bring the weed eater up in here. You know, the weed eater is just not going to cut down these, these bushes. Uh, I guess I could, maybe there's a cutter that I can put on it that would, would trim down uh, this type of material. Obviously, the, the, the string is not going to work. Um, so, if I want to try to cut my way through here, I think that if I've, you know, if i got the pants on with the boots bloused and everything that I can just hike through here. But uh, that's that's my next story. That's probably enough for another video. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy these, these hikes. I know I do. And uh, actually, I'm going to get some more onto this. I'm going to head back to the area in Silver Springs that I am working on. I got the cutters in my car. And I'm just going to try to cut a little further down that trail. You know, I've already gone down it. Well, I came in from one side, and you've got all those videos. And so now I'm going to try to cut down from the other side in my attempt to, to hike that whole trail. And it uh, should be interesting. All right. Peace out. Have a good one. So I just thought I'd get this. <laughs> can, can you imagine? I bet at, back in the day that was probably a $500,000 mobile home who knows it's got the air conditioners on top and of course the tires are flat and it's just parked there now and can't imagine somebody just kind of letting that go to rot but uh this is always a welcome sight car is there don't believe any windows are broken and we're going to head on up and uh do some maintenance wasn't the day i had planned i was hoping to just do hiking but uh and i, I got to look into a metal blade to cut down that trail so I can hike through there you know I'm just shocked that these trail people here in Florida just let the Florida trail go to hell all right so like I said it's not the day I had planned all I'm bringing is the cutters with me and uh, you know once again I'm abandoning the car <laughs> I got the bear spray with me we're gonna head back in here and cut maybe another quarter mile through the Florida trail you know, all this I've already done, so we'll just keep on going. So this time I didn't even bring <laughs> the bear spray because it's slow going. We're going to cut our way right through there. And uh, we just came down that. And uh, it's going to be slow going, but what the hell, it's good exercise. Okay, that's most definitely it. I'm done for the day. So as you saw, we cut through there. And then I got to here and I couldn't make it through here, so came through here, we cut through here, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll get some video here in a minute, because, uh, oh boy, oh man, I am, yeah, that's good, you know, I mean, you gotta, that's that's why I come out here, man, you gotta, my doctor says, get your, get your heart rate up, you know, get some exercise, bust your buns, you know, and, uh, of course, I keep filling in the ditch there with sticks and stuff. Man, we're making some good progress. I don't know how far, much further, I have to go to get to where I left off on the other portion of the trail. But you can see I've made some tremendous progress back through here. Let's wait till I can't hike no more, and we'll take one last video. So, you know, it might take me 10 years to hike this full <laughs> trail. <laughs> I mean, because this is what it looked like, if you can just see that, for me to cut through. And so I did. We busted through here. I'm tired. I've been at this. And, and you know, that's the thing. I'm only going to make, you know, what did I make? 100 yards today? So it's kind of sad that the trail's in this bad of shape. And I just spent, uh, well, 20, 20 minutes picking... I mean, I understand why they don't main this, maintain this portion of the trail, because these, these damn birds, look at them. They stick all over you. And, uh, you know, you come out of here looking like a porcupine. I just spent 20, 30 minutes picking them off. But we are kind of opening up here. 
So I'm going to go a ways back in here and see. Well, you can see that I'm going to have to bring my cutters. Try not to get the burrs all over me. But uh, it's kind of moving through here. And uh, I can rapidly work my way through here, which will be good. You know, once again, I'm trying to trying to cut around this ditch because, uh, well, this is looking promising. I mean, I don't think I'm going to, man, I tell you, that that hour and, well, good Lord, just getting down to here has been a nightmare. But I'm thinking we might be able to rapidly go through here on our next visit. So this is looking good. I Now, you know where I stopped before coming from the other direction on the Florida Trail and it just looked like a nightmare so you know look I well you can see it's 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 coming back into yeah look at that well that's all we're gonna get done on the Florida Trail today I it's, you know it's good exercise I don't mind just come back in here and cut a bit work a bit cut a bit work a bit and uh we'll eventually get back through there but you know i and you're saying well kirk couldn't you just hike through that well yeah i look like a porcupine when i'm done so plus you know i want to give back something i you know i, I enjoy these trails i love being back here and uh i'm just sorry that they don't maintain the florida trail here in florida but uh there are portions obviously that they do so i'm going to turn back at this point and uh, we'll call it a day. This is probably more than enough for, for the next video. And uh, I'm going to cut a little more in probably about another half an hour. Looks like I'm going to get wet. I think the rain's coming in. That's the thing here in Florida, 20% chance. Well, somebody said, well, that means you got 20% coverage. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, I always thought 20% meant that you got 80% possibility that you're not going to get rained on. <laughs> but I guess I'm just, I'm just stupid in that regard. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut a little further in here. We've made some progress today. Uh, I don't know what to do about the other portion of the trail. Obviously, I can't take my cutters in there and, and whack down all that stuff. But maybe there's an attachment for my weed eater where I can cut down all of those. Uh, those many trees that are growing in the trail but uh, hey you know you guys peace out hope you enjoy these videos I, I know I only get one or two views but uh, that's all right at least at least one person if one person watches it it's, it's worth my time I uh, have a have a good day and uh, let's uh, God bless the United States well luckily I didn't have to cut my way to here but this is where I'm done for the day I don't know when we'll be back this way to continue cutting our way through there. But uh, you can kind of see I, I got a ways further. You know, there's a little trimming that I might want to do coming back this way. But uh, I'm pretty pumped, man. I, I can't imagine I am far from the spot where I gave up before coming from the other direction. But uh, who knows? I mean, it's slow going, obviously. And... Uh, but uh, anyway, peace out, you guys, and uh, we'll post a new, new video and uh, enjoy one more war story there. All right. Bye.